look weird. We've got road vehicles here. He's got a lot of wood. He's got a lot of wood. So I wanted them to go the opposite way so that they wouldn't get all clumped together, but that didn't happen. They're all clumped together. Alright, and that's another special... Alright, it's another... More happy customers, I should say. We're about to get another one down to the other end, if I'm correct. The trains are still lined up. No, apparently we did not. I mean, we did, but the money didn't uh, balance out. Oh. Happy New Year. These guys, of course, aren't making any money yet. These guys are almost up to a million dollars. Even on medium, the game isn't really that bad. I mean, I've, I've been reading that to make profits on a train is considerably easier in the U.S. pack. And maybe not considerably easier, but they... People were saying it seems to be, you know, more train-friendly. Whereas, people were calling the game Truck Fever before, uh, just tongue-in-cheek, where you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't want to use the trains because they wouldn't get you any money. Kind of unfortunate, but it was, it was true, at least for part of it. Being very careful about expanding. Turn off cargo and contour lines. Things look a little bit better. And it's some of these. The way these things are set up, it is really cool to watch. Uh, you do get some really nice views. Turn on cargo at least, though. When I'm building, I don't need the contour line. Or when I'm not building, I don't really need the contour lines. But I just keep them on for viewing's sake, just so that if I, I see something, I can go, ooh, that's, that looks like it'd be a good idea. And I can start work on it. Just gives me the, abil the ability to brainstorm whenever it, whenever uh, an idea comes to mind. So, originally, or rather, on my regular save, the save that I was just screwing around in, where I actually got the US pack to work, the first time, I should say, without any holes in the world, like episode 25 and a half, I was sending a lot of traffic through a town and decided to upgrade the roads all the way, and put on bike lanes, bi bike lanes? Bus lanes. Or no, I didn't put on bus lanes, I didn't, I didn't think I needed them because I didn't have cars yet. But either way, what happened was the uh, these kind of vehicles would stick to the outside, and then the trucks would stick to the inside. And the buses would stick to the outside, the trucks would stick to the inside, and it was really cool. Alright, so, are you full? Yeah, you're full. Okay, that's cool. I wish they'd pick up the newest passengers, though, sometimes, because then you would have less heart attacks. You have less people dying on the way to a destination. We don't have a lot of people coming out of Ludlow, though. The, the, the Ludlowers are... They are, um... What's the word? They're complacent. They don't like to leave home. When you have all these guys come together, it looks like a convoy or something. Okay, so... Oh, continue repaying. I should just run it super fast forward because there's really not going to be a difference. I'm not going to be doing anything right now. I'm just going to be watching the trains shuffle up and down the... Up and down the way. With most, you know, half full loads and then nearly full loads. 
and then my uh, stagecoaches walk around, and this line very slowly sort itself out. And some of these guys, of course, turned up empty-handed. Why? Because there just weren't enough goods to go around. He didn't get anything. So we've got the same old deal, then. The streets are kind of becoming clogged. I mean, it's not really that bad, but we're getting to a point where it could be worrisome. I could upgrade some of these. How much would it be? We've got 900k of loan left. Oh, and it's 1855. Well, our first train is five years old. Well, four years. It's been making us some serious cash, though. It's good. It's very good. Ka-ching, ka-ching. E everyone's making money! Although the trucks might drop out of it again pretty soon, but uh, the, the line down here for the goods and stuff, I'm proud of it that it's, you know, in the green. 500k left and then we can go back to work, back to building. Other than that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's just a uh, battle of, battle with the mountains here to get everything all settled. I mean, honestly, it probably isn't gonna be that bad. You just stick to the lowered sections and don't try to go through any gigantic mountainous areas. I mean, you'd think that'd be common sense, but... You'd think it'd be common sense, but then you see the Denver and Rio Grande Western. Or the Uinta. It's a bundle of sticks. Faggot. You're almost there. We've got people coming out and people going in at the same time, which is very good. But they're still more or less clumped together. Every once in a while, there's a good that's, uh, you know, waiting there, but they seem to all be walking on their own. 300k. It's unfortunate that they're all, that they're all kind of walking on their own. I could, I could, I could definitely do with the money that could be gained. 52 pass oh 52 passengers out of Ludlow. Maybe they're not so complacent after all. And 34 out of here. Maybe the Brackley guys have have started to stay home. Although I think I understand what it is. It's it's probably, or rather more likely than not, it's you know sort of peaks. So you get a lot of people shifting from work to home and then home to work, or vice versa. Home to work and then work back home, or home to entertainment to back home. Basically, they're going from home, they're going somewhere, and they're coming back. Thirty-four people. Carried them all the way through, though. Still gonna pay nicely. 183. Oh, yeah! We got the general, I think. Yeah, there it is. The general. Yes, we are up in the money. For Foro the General. And just like my other save panned out, we're gonna be... We're going to be building... The first thing I'm gonna use the General for is a goods line. Excuse me, a goods line.
Probably not the best use of that guy. I'm, I'm 30k in the hole. That's the problem. Many years from now, people will ask, why did he go around? And I still won't have an answer. Come on, you little trucks and stuff. Give me some cash. Cash money, cash money. Now we're just falling farther in the hole. Oh, 18k from that, though. That's nice. Nine and a half from him. And of course, this, guy, this other guy probably doesn't have anything. Oh no, we had one. Does the one behind him have one? Let's find out. Yeah, just one. Fantastic. I mean, it's better than nothing, that's for certain. Everybody's making money! I'm gonna connect around here. I'll probably go straight. If I can build... Something from the side here. To connect to him. No, not. Can't let me build a uh, crossing right there. How tight do I have to make it in order to build a crossing? Pretty tight, honestly. Not out there. I want my freight station to be here. Turn it around. Like so. Oh! It took a minute to realize we just had the money to build that. No segment removable. That's good. That's the wrong kind of road, but it's just fine. We got some cash, though. That's good. We're over that loan. We can just keep moving forwards. I'm also jump at the side of the track, I'm gonna let it, but we're not gonna uh, stick to that in any way, shape, or form. Also, I missed a spot. It's gonna be our one little parallel bit. These are just two completely separate things that happen to look like they're connected. Titus curb is a 45 mile per hour. Look at that. Words. 45 mile per hour. The pink line. Okay, pink line into Ludlow Halt will deliver the goods. He's got the goods. I'm guessing that's all this place needs. It's one more than the place needs, actually. Looks like they demolished their, uh... Looks like they're demolishing their industry in favor of... Uh, you know. Didn't mean to click on the vehicle, I wanted to click on the town. They've got a higher population than anything. They've got, you know, considerably fewer jobs. Whereas, the opposite is true for Ludlow, question mark? Yeah, you have 302 jobs and 364 people. You still need people, actually. I could bring you more. But that also means, let me go back and look at that again, you have 
double the cargo wants. Oh wait, no, he's gonna be going the wrong way. Oh well. Come on, take a left. Take a left, damn it. Oh well. Your other left. When we get another passenger delivery, then I can work on getting the train. Howden looks like it's doing okay, in terms of goods. Almost doing okay. It's doing pretty good for itself, in the grand scheme of things. Haywood. Put a station across the, the lake, run it along the side here. That's gonna be a tight squeeze. Yeah, it's gonna be a tight squeeze. But it's gonna be possible. Bring it around the back of the air ore mine, bring it across the road in front, bring it through this narrow gap, and then to the station for Leighton, which is gonna be right there. Then on to Tenter Den, which will be our connection? Question mark. I haven't even gone down, down here. East Ham Scarborough. I like how there's Faken Ham and East Ham. What is Faken Ham? Like tofu or something? Fish Ham? Toe Law. I. Hmm. I, honestly, though, I do have to commend the developers on making their systems of roads sensible and stuff like that. Uh, you know, the bridges and everything. And your, the town development is just fantastic. I noticed that we had gridded, gridded roads here, which are kind of uncommon for this game. And I was wondering if that had something to do with, in the U.S., how we have a lot of gridded cities. Although this is, this is well before the, I'm not sure if this is before the age of really gridded cities. No, maybe this would be. No, I, I actually don't know. I, I don't know off the top of my head how the cities expanded way back when. Buster Keaton film. Okay, so we've got that. Let's buy a bunch of boxcars. Damn it. That's definitely not enough boxcars. I want I want to have enough to transport the entire thing in one go. Let's just borrow 100 to get some boxcars. Good. Perfect. Behold, the general. Oops, wrong button. M and VP. Beautiful. We've still got Brackley over here. Just people living out their lives. We've got two railroads coming into town, two independent railroads that attach at one point but don't actually attach. Call this the Hourglass Railroad here because really nothing like an hourglass but you know how the two sides of an hourglass come together and don't quite touch these actually do so ignore the hourglass thing could it be feasible to build around the back here I mean you want to stick to the wall right Cause that's kind of a depression right there although Howden is a lot lower than 
It's not a lot lower, actually. It's, it's definitely doable to get to from Brackley. If you were to pull out of the back here... Yeah, you could run across that road. And then get the hell out. If that's what you really wanted to do. Sooner or later I should upgrade these guys, but they're not. I mean, we're sort of hitting capacity, but we're not really pushing it. I should have just built a cut here. It's going to be awkward for the general to get up and over. What's your top speed? 45. So it's not really a huge improvement over the six wheels, but it has a massive improvement in the power. So we're going to keep these guys on for a little while. Honestly, surprisingly enough, in my other save, we swapped out the six wheels very, very quickly. We did pretty much what we're doing now with the goods line and everything, but the, um... I expanded my passenger service pretty much right away, and we ended up... Really? You built here? Almost 100k. Almost 100k to get rid of this stupid little building. This worthless little building. Alright. You're gonna drop off and I'm gonna kill this building. Thank you. Goodbye. Good. For the future. And also, before somebody rains on my parade and build, they already did. I hate all of you. You better not put something right there either. It's in case we want to go that way. Hundred dollars per square meter. Any goods arriving at the station here? No. It's because we haven't had uh, goods shifting around. They've all been piling up in here. Once these guys clear, I'm gonna send another bunch of vehicles back that way. Because they're spreading out, but not nearly as fast as I would have liked. It would, it would be much better if they, you know, well, if they'd done what I, what I originally suggested they do. Oh, just kidding, we're broke. We'll get over it. Where are the trains? There are the trains. Our big money makers. The trains. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be getting very many uh, achievements in this world. Because we've kind of gotten them all. Well, not all of them, but we've gotten most of them. I know, I don't think the high speed one is possible in the US pack. And I'm not entirely sure about some of the other ones. Just because of the way they work. Alright, that's good. Alright, fire road vehicles. Alright, so that's, that's that. Set line, line four. And now you guys take right turns, right? Please? Alright, good. If they had decided just then to take a left turn, it, that would have... It would have blown my mind, firstly. You've not made any money yet, and I don't foresee you making too much money anytime soon. 
That's okay. We're gonna increase our system to pool. We're gonna be putting a railway station here. I'm gonna start building two track stations instead of one track stations. That actually may not be the best place to put it. That's right, over here was where I said I'd put it. It's still gonna be expensive as all hell. 178k at the cheapest. Well, next time the trains drop off. Pretty much a three train meet, sort of. Well, sort of meet. <laughs> Not sure if those things count as trains, anyways. The little six wheels. Frankly, the way the crankshafts work, I'm surprised they work at all, the six wheels. It's just the way it's the way it's built, it doesn't look like it should be functioning properly. Or really at all, I mean. Fixed. Oh dear. Okay. 19, er, 1858, not 19. Alright, so we can build a station now. It cost us plenty of money, but it's done. That will be done. Melud. How steep will it let me make this? That's steep. Building very carefully across here. Oh, well, there goes our cache. That was a good place to cross, though. Come on, somebody deliver some passengers or something. Alright, max speed. Was that enough? I shouldn't have gone over here, I should have just... Yes! Alright, perfect. And then we can make a turn like that for our final section. Now we're in deep doo-doo. Alright, we've got, you know, 18 or 19 boxes, however many that was. I can't click on anything because I'm currently holding down a, a plant piece of track. I really can't click anything at all, that's kind of, I don't know what the word for it is. It's very unusual though, just not being able to interact. It's like something's wrong, something's dreadfully, dreadfully wrong. Meanwhile, the other guy's in, uh, in pool. I, I almost want to call it poodle. Where is that going? I don't assume you're building anything because I really don't think you have coal. Like, from anywhere. The nearest coal mine is, is quite, quite far away. Almost there. Perfect. Alright, we have them attached. Where should we make the passing siding? Where's in the middle? It's right about there. So, you know, up this far and down this far is right about here. And due to the nature of the double track, make it on the inside. And bring it across the crossing so that we don't have any switch problems. Could have some very angry uh, motorists in the future, however, when the signal is right outside the crossing. 
crap, power broke again. Ah, oh, but we almost almost have train. They're wonky looking. The thing I want to do though, because of the way that the Baldwin's ten wheels, or Baldwin's six wheels rather, work, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to build, and, and how the general would inevitably catch up to them, I'm going to build a couple of, a couple more, uh, you know, things. Let's see, we'd have a, I'm trying to figure out where we'd have trains. I also think I need to replace this station with a two-track station to make this work. And maybe extend the double track from over here. I don't know, let's try the thing with replacing the station. And how big is... That runs all the way out to there, so as soon as he hits that, I'll pause the game and I'll make the change. Rearrange him till I'm sane. Alright, so he's clear, pause, pause, delete the station, fit a second station precisely where the first one was, check to see if, okay, never mind, I didn't have to clear out that spot, fantastic, I'll bring out the double track. I feel like that's new, because I definitely don't think I could do that before. Game auto-saved. Let's bring that out to 120, because... Future proof. And like so. And then put a crossover over here because we're going to need it in the future. The future is quite soon, as a matter of fact. signal over here before the crossover. Then maybe they'll accept this as a proper route. Maybe not, but maybe. You full of goods? You got three. Amazing. Wondering how many he picked up to end up with three. Wait, when's the last time he made money? Or did he? This probably isn't his first money-making run. I got 146,000 that one time. And so this ought to work. And I'm going to bring the double track to the other side of the railroad crossing to prevent any problems with buildings cropping up. I'm going to stretch out the There we are. And now we can, I think, we can safely just start one train at each station, and it'll work. Or at least one train pointing at each, each station. But actually, that's something I ought to save for next episode, because we're running a little long here. Or, no we're not. I'm going to cut this in two. We're running that long, honestly. Oh, there aren't any passengers. But it's going to take me a while to build up the dough to, um, to do what I need to do here, so... 
we'll do that next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and hope you guys are enjoying the new U.S. Train Fever DLC. Yes. And I think that's it for... Oops. Oh, Jesus. I didn't see the road connection. I thought there wasn't one. That was smart. 25 out of 39. You're producing 50. Solid. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all next week. Dream man out.